Where is this article about Zachary? Here, CNN host caught plagiarizing. Time magazine has suspended his column. Remember Zachary always like had a self-righteousness about him and a pseudo-intellectualism? Well, apparently he lifted passages out of a New Yorker article as his own. Fareed Zachariah is an Indian-American journalist and author. He was a columnist, blah, 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 and now he works for CNN. Well, he got dumped today. In 2010, the government of India honored him with the Padma Busham for his contribution towards journalism. I, I, that's a heck of a statement. Zachariah was born in Mumbai, then Bombay, a, in India, to... Uh, to a Konkani Muslim family. Uh-huh. India Muslim. Now you know why he went to the head of the class. Now you know why he was hired by CNN. Now you know why there's no criticism of Obama on CNN. You understand? His father was a politician and an Islamic scholar. So, okay, the rest is history. Now, of course, he should be thrown out of CNN for good, and he should never be listened to again. But as you well know, although he defines himself as a centrist, He's a far radical leftist. He's not at all a moderate. In fact, the only people who believe in him would be people like George Stephanopoulos, who would think that he's a, 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 a reasonable man. So there's nothing more you could say about that. Uh, the fact of the matter is he was uh, found plagiarizing today. And Zachariah gave commencement addresses to the 2012 graduating classes of the brainwashed idiots at Harvard, the brainwashed fools at Duke University, which were criticized by Boston Globe for being identical. Oh, <laughs> oh, the man isn't even changing his speeches now. In August 2012, Zachariah was accused of plagiarism for a piece on gun control in Time magazine that bore similarities to an April 2012 article by Jill Lepore in The New Yorker. He subsequently apologized, but his column was suspended from the magazine for one month pending review. He was then suspended from CNN due to his admission of plagiarism. Earlier, Jeffrey Goldberg accused Zachariah of lifting quotes from his interview without attribution. And uh, also, he's been doing this. The editors of the New Republic included him in a November 2011 list of overrated thinkers and commented, there's something suspicious about a thinker always so perfectly in tune with the moment. Aha. Uh -huh. So there have been others who have been on to this, uh, this uh, uh, Zachariah. But he's done very, very well for himself. Very, 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 very well very, very well, move right to the head of the class like someone we know. Why do you think Farid Zachariah, the son of, a, of an Islamic scholar, was moved to the head of his class and made a, such a genius on CNN? Answer, for the same reasons that Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh Obama was admitted to Columbia, admitted to Harvard, and then basically admitted to the presidency by the powers that be. And I come back to my primary point which is that the Democrat Party today looks to me more like a cult than it does like a uh, political party. And Obama looks more like a guru than he does like a president. And I've given you examples. Why? 